but there are you know people out there and there are tiny communities and they're shrinking and um, but even even if they don't speak Yiddish you know Jewish culture is 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 so much a part of even how the the, the non-jewish cultures you know work in the world in Eastern Europe you know I, you know I tell people I, I you know I worked in Moldova I worked in Belarus for a couple of months I've been to, to Ukraine to Lithuania people are like oh you know there's there's only anti-semitism there and people you know yes there's a there's a there's a history and, and we have to acknowledge that and that's very important but you know there's you in, in any Moldovan supermarket you can get a bread a braided bread called challah and if you ask anybody about challah, they say it's a traditional Moldovan bread. You know that th 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 these cultures are far Yiddish in, in in so many ways, um, and it's and it's really amazing. Um, so, but but I mean, Hasidic culture is is alive and important. Um, but yes, it's sort of like the the other side of the coin. Um, is there is there continuity in the same way? Um, you know, the, the Jewish communities there aren't having you know demographically are not growing. Um, but like I'm, I, I was saying, there is this uh, this this Yiddish tam, this Yiddish tam that that lives on in in, in the non-Jewish cultures, and and the Jews, you know, that that did live in these countries have moved to to Israel, to America, to to Germany, um, and in and in some way they are changing the communities that 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 are there. Um, um, I mean, there's also you know the fact that. These different ways of being Jewish that are bigger and more dominant in the world are erasing this, but I do think that that something something's alive.